So today we have here uh, a, a machine control system TX63 from CHNAV and uh, first we're going to go over all the components that are included in the kit. So we start with the main with the main kit. Here inside you can see you can see the tablet, the sensors, the GNSS antennas. So I'm going to take each one out. So this is the antenna. The, these go on the back of the machine using different connections which we'll talk about shortly. Then there's the the main unit, the tablet. So it has the connection here in the back. It has the antenna connections, 4G connection here, power button, SIM card slot and USB slot. So then there's the radio which comes with every kit and we can also do satellite radios if you have different frequency needs the main sensor 102 has two ports on either side and then there's the one sensor that goes to the end of the line and that has only one port on one side there are also mounts in the box we have ram mount for the for the window mount and also you can have a, a screw mount if your machine allows you to do like so then there are some bits and bobs here like the antenna that goes in the back 4g antenna and the line terminator to terminate the line in case you in case you need to use uh, this one as the end sensor. We have a power harness here. Power harness or the main harness. This one goes to the back of the tablet like so. Connects like so. There are lines marked. This one is can line which takes the sensors. So the sensor line goes on here basically like, the, like so. And then there's the other line marked RS232 and then one the extra radio. So there are there are obviously extension ca cables in the set, but just to show you this this goes like this. And the the final one here is the is for the power here. And the power cable goes like so. Power should all, always be connected after the main switch somewhere in the circuit. It has its own fuse and so it, so it goes. Always remember connect after the main main switch or better yet after the ignition. So moving on these are the extension cables that I to told you about earlier for the sensors. They come, come in different sizes depending on where you where you put them on the machine. There is an optional uh, there is an optional power button that you can install to the tablet like so. It will be up here and you can have a kill switch it's for certain uh, scenarios where you definitely need a kill switch. Coming back to the antennas, antennas you mount to the machine with different options. We have different options. This is the standard option. This goes, this can be welded to the back of the machine for bigger machines. Then there are the, the rail mounts that you can mount to the railing or or to the to the roof racks or what have you and then there's the uh, magnetic mount which you can mount to the to the roof of the gab or or any metallic surface and this antenna cables there are two in the set for each antenna these are really good nice quality cables for for sensors Please do let us know if you're going to install the sensors by welding them, like so, having the, the back free, or if you'd prefer to glue them. We have used this very hard bond tape from 3M, which holds very nicely, and we can 
have them pre-glued for you if you if you would like to glue them on the machine and then there's finally there's this this uh, cover that you can use for dog bone and bucket sensor to make it a little bit more robust so that the sensor will stay inside here so on this machine we have uh, put uh, like a custom bracket for the antennas so this is like well welded bracket for the for the antennas and bolted onto the roof rack mounts for these smaller machines often you have to go to solutions like this or or use magnetic mounts as shown before the sensors first uh, we started the body sensors we put it usually under the boom somewhere on the bigger machines we also find a spot for them under the boom and the uh, important thing to note is that the orientation of the sensor currently can be done only one way it needs to be the female head forward so it's like so next sensor on the line is the boom sensor we try to find it uh, a place more or less in the middle of the boom if we can and align it as as well between the axes as we can but not to worry about this too much because the, we are going to calibrate the sensors after the installation the next sensor we have is the stick sensor also we put this on the stick trying to find a spot more or less in the center of the stick as, as well as we can and again align it with the axis as best as we can but not to worry again much because we are going to calibrate each sensor afterwards the next sensor is the dog bone sensor installed on the dog bone also aligning with the axis as, as well as we can and then the line goes on to the here we have used the hydraulics line to, to go on to the bucket sensor which is installed on the bucket here we have installed it flat on the bucket and uh, the cable facing left So when uh, measuring the machine there are a couple of options. You could use tape measure to measure out machinery dimensions but what we prefer to do as we already have the total station set up and we have it on site we use the total st station to measure out the machine as well. So what we do is measure from each axis to the next axis. Now I would measure from from uh, boom connection axis to the domestic connection axis and from there I will measure down to, to this axis and here I need both measurements from this axis up to up here and similarly from up here to the last of this connection and then I will measure up from this one this one, then from this one, now from this one, and from this one, to this one, and then back here. So all four measurements I would take the total station. I would make sure I am as as parallel to the to the rig as possible, so that the measurements would be as accurate as possible. But as I said, there are many ways to measure the machine, but this is I think the simplest one. So at the moment, when uh, measuring out uh, the, dimen uh, the distances for the antennas, we use GPS to do this. Obviously you have to be outside for the GPS to work, but uh, I'm gonna show you how we usually go about doing that. We will spread out the boom as far as we can. Here we have it curled up a little bit, but I would spread it out as far as I can. I would take a measurement from the center, 
center of the of the of the boom here I know it is this this point here so it's the center or you could use the center of the bucket if you can mark this out then I would go to the axis of the boom which is here you take one measurement on each side like like so basically taking this axis here taking a measurement obviously I have the advantage of using uh, tilt rover here so that I can do it easily going around and then doing the other side so I get the axis axis of the boom I will measure this out like so from the center again so I can get the center line of the of the boom axis so then I would measure out the antenna in a similar way if you already have fixed connection and uh, then, if, then the antenna location will be known in the in the software or you could use just the antenna to, to measure it out how, however you prefer so that's for the antenna positions so one measurement with the bucket dimensions that often gets uh, confused or, uh, or gets uh, uh, it is confusing on the drawing in the menu is this one so in order to get this one right you have to have a long uh, long level here or you could alternatively use a plumb line I have chosen a long level which I think works better for this dimension and uh, so first I want to set this level like so that I am level and now I need to make sure that my axis here on the bucket this lower dog bone is uh, set to level as well as you can see here we have level on this one like from here to here this axis is level as well and, uh, and uh, from bucket blade I'm also level so what I want to do now is measure out this distance using the, the two levels from, from the level line to the axis here this machine is different than, than most machines you would uh, find out there or rather this bucket is a little bit different because on most machines the bucket would come out to here and this dimension would be out from here and it would be a positive number but on this machine since it goes inward it will be a negative number so this is the dimension that needs to measure like usually on on most machines you would want to do a move like this for the calibration process you always need a total station here we for example have a used Leica which is more than adequate for this uh, kind of uh, job what you want to do is uh, set up your total station first obviously as you would normally to uh, calibrate the boom sensor you want to make sure that you align the, this axis and this axis so that the boom will be level and then you can calibrate the sensor similarly when you do, when you are doing the the stick sensor, you want the stick to be vertical. So you align stick vertically. Didn't quite work out at the moment, but that's why you need a total station. Next, you do the dog cone sensor. You want to align those axes so that the dog bone will be level similarly with the when you do the tilt bucket you want both surfaces and uh, to be level when you calibrate the tilt sensor 